Unit 11. Topic-Based Writing. February 18th. Basic Sample. Recently, Taiwanese students took a survey about school start times. School days currently begin at 7.30 a.m., but almost 90% of students said they should start at a time between 8.30 and 9.30. While many people support this idea, I have to disagree. I think the current school hours are needed in order to cover everything we have to learn. Students already barely have enough time as it is. The self-study period at the start of the day is a good example. My teachers aren't always able to finish lessons during their class periods. They have lots of things to teach, so we students can pass exams. Therefore, they sometimes use the self-study period to give us more information. If school starts later, we might fall behind. I think it's important that teachers and students have enough time to go through the lesson material. Thus, the school day should stay the same. Advanced Sample A recent survey of students from Taiwanese high schools showed that nearly 90% support pushing back the start time for their school days. While school currently starts with a 30 to 40 minute self-study period, beginning at 7.30 a.m., the overwhelming majority of those surveyed said that it should instead start at 8.30, 9 or even 9.30 a.m. I wholeheartedly agree that school currently starts too early and believe a later start time would benefit students in numerous ways, not least of which is allowing for a full night's sleep for developing young minds. While there are plenty of arguments to be made for this change, my own experiences speak loudest for me. Though I do my best to be a diligent student, I can't count the number of times I've nodded off during early morning classes due to not getting enough sleep the night before. For the first few periods of the day, I can barely focus, and I've developed a caffeine habit out of a critical need to stay awake in school. I can't go to bed earlier, either, because of the hours of homework I have to complete every night. I know this is hampering my development, but on my own, there's little I can do to change the system. I shouldn't have to prioritize my education over my health. That's why I support the proposed change. I want to be able to balance these two aspects of my life.